The heretical cult, the so-called children of Etro, are behind the murders. They become increasingly visible in the city. Judging by the tone of their message, they view the savior as their enemy. What I don't understand is why they would target you. You're here to save souls and guide them to a new world. Why wouldn't they want that? It's not that. I'm not surprised they're afraid. Don't worry. Even if the world hates you, I'll always be by your side, Light. What do you want to do? Will you go looking for that code? The children of Etro are gathering now. They'll be out of my reach until they're done with their business. It seems like a waste to just wait here until then. Why not get out of the city for a while? I might as well. There's not much time left. I won't waste it. Yes, your time is the most precious thing you have now. How you use these few days may decide the very fate of the world. It looks like the monorail is up and running. If you hop aboard, you can quickly get anywhere in this world. And there's another station on the south side of Luxarian. I don't have time to play. Restricted area. A giant creature came out of the chaos and it's causing a panic. And no one's doing anything? Thirteen brave bounty hunters volunteered to take the beast down. To keep the peace. Thirteen. That should have been enough, right? Guess how many still live. <sighs> Just one. The others all died. And that lone survivor was... Yes, me. God. Such horrors I'd hoped to never have to see in my lifetime. The city's lost now. No one can face that monster and live. And with the chaos creating more of them? Sounds dangerous. Good thing I have a few minutes to spare. Were you listening to me? It killed 12 brave warriors. You're just one person, and a woman no less. But if you really want to fight it, I won't stop you. No time for hesitation. Defeat that thing alone! Well, it wasn't an easy battle. You don't have to tell me twice. Here, you should have this. It belonged to the fallen men. Because of your actions, they're resting peacefully, knowing their deaths were. What a coward I am. One failure and I turned tail and fled. In my mind, the beast had become chaos itself. But then you dispatched it alone. How powerful could it have been, really? To be slain by just one man. Damn it, you inspire me! Not to be reckless, I hope. Never. Caution is my middle name, after all. <laughs> but we bounty hunters, we like to live on the edge. Danger. That's what it's all about. Can't live without it. Like you can't live without air.
So you want to be a hunter, do you? It's the chaos, ain't it? Life's got no meaning, so you want to throw it away. Or better yet, your man went and dumped you, so you want to take it out on some beasties. Look, I don't know you, and you clearly don't know me. You don't know me? You came to do business with Baird without checking up on me first? Not too bright, are you, girly? Huh? <laughs> you want to keep talking? I'm game, but you gotta buy this here, baby. It's all the qualifications you'll need to be a top-notch seat hunter. And that don't mean you're a real seat hunter yet, though. That you gotta earn. I'm gonna guess that seed hunters collect... <laughs> seeds. Yeah. Soul seeds, to be all specific and everything. You, um, you know what they are, right? The shiny little lights floating in the chaos? We call them seeds, but uh, eggs is more like it. Monster eggs in the chaos. A certain, shall we say, uh, organization buys them up. For a good price, too. Says they um, make medicines and stuff out of them. Listen, girly. Here's the deal. I pay you for seeds. The more, the better. Here's something you'll need to know. There are a total of four merchants who will buy your seeds. One in Yusnan, one in the Wildlands, one in the Dead Dunes. And most of all, me, here in Luxarian. One in every location. Think you can remember that? If you've got some soul seeds you're looking to discard, all you need to do is track one of us down. Simple, right? Oh, and don't worry. You'll recognize us easily by our fancy little hats. You, uh, you bit him. Oh, I see you've decided to make the right... Doesn't matter which one of us you sell to, you'll get paid this thing. Tell someone or Choco Vocalina. If you're looking for adventure, try the dead dude. Just any old cat. Since you seem to have half a brain, might I ask a favor? It won't be too much of a bother, I promise. Call me cynical, but I don't believe cats can talk. I'll help you out, but only if you tell me who you really are. I knew you were clever. Yes, I'm no cat. At least not on the inside. This is where you tell me about some bizarre episode that put your soul into a cat's body. Exactly. You're good. Of all the possibilities, why a cat? Oh, let me start from the beginning. This body that I'm in, the most beautiful cat in the world, she was my precious little baby. Obviously, I named her Jem because she was my treasure. She was everything to me, but... 
She got sick and passed away. I had a difficult time dealing with her death. I couldn't accept it. I shied away from reality. I did everything I could to preserve Jim's body while I desperately searched for a way to bring her back. Science, voodoo, alchemy, you name it. I tried everything you could ever imagine. I spent years, no, decades, performing experiments to bring her back. I'm not one to judge, but the love you have for your cat is more than a little frightening. She was my life, but nothing worked. I couldn't revive her. I'd run out of ideas. I was devastated. I had just about given up on life, everything, when God decided to throw me a bone. A little girl approached me. She called herself Lumina. Lumina? This ought to be good. What happened? I thought this little angel had been sent from the heavens when she handed me a potion, and said it had the power to lend Jem my soul. According to her explanation, if I drank the potion, I could revive her. Of course, I drank the entire bottle without hesitation. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to drink strange potions? Especially ones given to you free of charge by people you just met on the street. But this stranger told the truth. Jim was revived. See? Alive as ever. However, I wasn't prepared for these side effects. This wasn't what I had in mind. And that's where I come in. Yes! Lumina mentioned there was an antidote that can reverse the effects of the potion. With it, things can go back to the way they were. It's called Starlet Spice. Please, will you find some of it and wave it under my nose? I assume you're talking about your human body, so it's still intact somewhere? Do you recall where? When dawn approaches, you'll find it wandering aimlessly near a large assembly of cats. You can tell from a single glance that it lacks any sort of soul. My name, my real name, is Ronan. I don't know if my body will respond to that, though. You want to be saved. Disciples, blessed are those who know his name. Blessed are those who have been touched by his divine life. Lend me your ear. Eternal despair is the only end for those who turn their backs on our almighty and omnipotent God. I hear there's a man who comes out here to read his journal every day. A lovely lady deserves luxurious garb.
filet. Monsters are going to I'm lucky for you. Now. May the winds of peace come. Sanctuary. Hopefully we'll be able to find out more about this mysterious shadow hunter. I have a lot of questions I want to ask him. Like, why is he targeting you?
Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for something called Starlit Spice. Do you know it? Starlit Spice, you say? Oh, yes. Yes, I know of it. It's a very powerful antidote. It's also a very rare item. I have none in stock, but bring me the ingredients and I'll brew up a... Sounds good to me. Take a look at the recipe. Huh. Looks like I already have all the ingredients. Bring me the ingredients listed here. I've got everything you wanted. So I see. Now if you'll just give old Rubrio a minute here. There we go. This is what you asked for. Starlit Spice. No need for payment. Just promise me you'll come back again. Even if just a chat. Um, before you go, there's something you should know about that potion. Does it have side effects? No, no, it's nothing dangerous like that. The scent of the antidote has a certain, shall we say, power over the feline species. Take every precaution and avoid all cats while this is in your possession. Great. Nothing dangerous at all then. Yes. It drives them into quite a murderous frenzy. What's this? Hmm. Come again. I want the hunter to teach me. You want to be saved. Did you lose something? I lost my carbuncle doll. It was the prettiest green color. It was an antique. It was my favorite doll. Chin up. It has to be somewhere. I know where it is. Anything that chaos touches just disappears and you never... Just because you can't see something, it doesn't mean it's gone. In fact, there might be a way to get it back. Really? I don't believe you. All right. Then I'll find it for you and prove it. You're looking for a green carbuncle doll, is that right? In this dying world, all the children have lived for centuries without growing old. Being alive for so long has stripped them of many things, including their naivete and hope. My gut says that's Ronin. You don't miss a thing, do you? Let him smell the antidote and see what happens. But are you sure about this? They're gonna pounce if they can smell that concoction on you, aren't they? Don't worry, Hope. I've got this. I've avoided much worse. Are you sure? He has his own hair. It's time to wake up. Ooh, ooh. 
Ronan? My name is... Ronan. Am I... in my own body? Again? Yep. Looks like this stuff actually worked. Welcome back to your old life. Back? B but if I'm here, then where's Jem? Look, she's gone. You know that. She's been gone for decades. I know it's a hard reality to face, but you can't keep running from it anymore. <sighs> I know, I know. She's never coming back. I get it. You're right. I have to face the truth. But I miss her. I I'd give my own life to bring her back. But that's not what I want. Who is that? Uh, is that... Is that you, Jim? It is. And I'm here. If you die, there will be no one left in the world who remembers me. I lived a short but perfect life. You treated me with love. I couldn't have asked for anything more. I'll always be with you in your heart and in your memories. I want you to be happy, just like you were when we were together. Jem. Did you see that? I actually talked to Jem. It's like a dream come true. You experienced something very special. A miracle, even. I owe all of this to you and Lumina. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. You're thanking Lumina? Have you forgotten she's the reason you almost spent eternity as a cat? I'm not so sure about that. I think she knew that I'd go to great lengths to bring Jem back, even if it meant hurting myself in the process. I think Lumina saved me from myself. If that's what you choose to believe, I won't stop you. The important thing to remember is that Jem will always be with you in your heart, and that's where she'll stay. Thank you for your pick. Look what I found. Here you go. Make sure you don't lose it again, okay? gone now. She got swallowed up by the chaos. It was 200 years ago. Maybe longer. If this doll was safe and sound inside the chaos, that means my mom is okay too, right? It means she's watching over me from far away, right? People pray for the dead. They pray that even though their bodies are gone, their souls still exist. They pray they'll see their loved ones again. That little girl prays she'll reunite with her mother. The same way I pray that Sarah and I will be together again, someday. Welcome back, Light. Now step forward and offer your Aradia so we can give time back to the world. Pray. As the world dies around me, I offer this blessing. Is this fruit from the light? With the power of Aradia, you have successfully extended the world's life. Come here and I'll explain. This is Yggdrasil, the Tree of Life. It's a holy tree and its life force is entwined with that of the world. Aradia gives Yggdrasil the power to grow. As the tree grows stronger, so too does the world. With enough Aradia, you can extend its life and push back the Day of Destruction. 
up to 13 days after which God awakens. So the more Aradia I can collect, the bigger that tree will grow. And the bigger the tree, the longer the world has before Doomsday. There are certain areas within Nova Chrysalia that I want you to focus on. Five locations where I'm picking up anomalous chaos readings. And I'm guessing one of those locations is right where Snow is. Yes, exactly. The palace in the city of Yusnan. There is another spot in the heart of Luxarian, the Holy City. One more in the scorching sands of the Dead Dunes. And finally, I've measured large chaos fluctuations at two locations in the Wildlands. Four regions, five locations. To be more precise, the goals are people, not places. For example, the chaos activity in and around Snow's palace is linked to him, and the darkness in his heart. It's the same kind of chaos that I'm picking up in the other four locations. And you want me to find these five people? They're your priority. Yes, those people have massive burdens on them. The fate of many rest on their shoulders, and that makes your task all the harder. Helping them will not be easy, even for God's handpicked savior, but I can help you. There's a hard truth we must face. There are thousands of people down in the world waiting to be saved, but you cannot help all of them. It's not possible. I've only got a handful of days. There just isn't enough time, right? This will sound cold, but you need to be efficient. Saving people who are suffering under the heaviest burdens will give you more Aradia, which is good for us. But the greater the burden, the more you might have to do before that soul can be saved. Sometimes, solving someone's problem might just take too long. You're saying I shouldn't waste time on helping the hard cases. I've got to pick and choose who gets saved. Of course it would be best if you could save everyone, but you can't. It's a numbers game, Light. The more souls you save, the more Aradia you can gather and offer to the tree. The time spent helping one person might be better spent saving the souls of ten others. Efficiency by volume, is that it? A numbers game like you say, control costs and maximize profits. What is it that they say? Time is money. In this world, all the clocks count to twelve, but that wasn't always the case. Back in the old days, all clocks went to thirteen. Somehow, when the chaos first flooded into the world, we lost that 13th hour. It was one of the great mysteries. No one could figure it out. But happen, it did. And the results were dramatic. Space-time has been damaged. Where once each day lasted 26 hours, now only lasts 24. Two hours of every day, gone, just like that. The lost time. 